Hey guys, Adrian back with you for another video. I want to quickly show you what I've been up to for the last couple days. So I've been working, doing this addition on a house. And uh, as you can see, extended garage, uh, we have two doors. So a drive through, uh, full wrap, tuck tape and uh, two inch foam to go on top of the 716 ply. I got a little 412 skirt roof here with a matching 412 roof above. Let's go in and have a look. So, as you can see, we walk through two by six construction, two by 10 floor. On this section, we still have to tuck tape, staple down and continue the Tyvek as well as tape all seams and do the two inch foam all the way down. That applies also for this lower half. Let's go take a look. So, It's a 412 roof. Just let me hop in here real quick. Four twelve roof for the two by ten ridge. Um, with collar ties, the inspector wouldn't let us go full height. So it's gonna be a finished eight foot wall, eight foot ceiling, sorry. On top of uh the ceilings, I've given it a, a T-brace, which will help keep the ceilings sturdy and eliminate a bow. So two by eight ceilings, two by eight rafters, 16 footers, 412. I put a vent, just one vent, cause it's about 300 square feet when it's all said and done. On this side, we did a standard wall right across with a, a beam that extends, a, sorry, a post that extends all the way up to the ridge. And then we did a rake wall on both sides with a two by six plate. Three-eighths spruce on top, 16-inch centers with clips. So eventually, there will be uh, another wall here, and we'll open this up here from the hallway, the pre-existing hallway, and this will be a bedroom. Looking out to the backyard or to the garage below. Let us quickly show you what I'm talking about. So we have the lower skirt roof, 412, in line, fascia in line with the existing porch. And uh, that's about it. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Take care. Have a great night. Bye now.